Hey everybody, this is Craig at Private Fairway and there's been a lot of talk in the news about artificial intelligence and open chat, GPT and all of that. And guess what? We have AI here at Private Fairway too to help you with your golf game. TrackMan has a system called Tracy that will help you make the most of your golf game. And I'm gonna let's get into it and I'll show you how you can use Tracy and artificial intelligence to improve your golf game. All right, everybody, so the way Tracy works is it takes your ball flight and swing data, and it once it has enough data, it pushes it to the cloud, and TrackMan's AI engine analyzes it, comes back, and gives you a score. And then you can use that score to kind of see how you're doing. And, uh, and then it will also give you the opportunity and show you a little bit about your golf swing, your ball flight. And then it will also show you what aspect of your golf swing you could improve that will best increase your score. So we're gonna start with Tracy. The way it works is it's here in the TrackMan software right here. We just come up here, it says, okay, we're activated. And now it just wants us to hit some shots. And once it has enough data, it'll do it. Now, how many shots kind of depends on how accurate you are. Uh, you can do it in a, as few as six shots if you're kind of if your shots are all similar but if you're a little bit all over the place it might take a few extra shots to get you there so i'm going to hit some shots and then i'm going to show you what we can do so i've chosen the seven iron the ever trusty seven iron we're just going to hit six shots and uh and see what happens Okay, so, all right, now here's how the AI works. It's taking that data, it's crunching it, it's gonna put it in for us here, and it's giving us this score. So you can see here that my score is, I have a trajectory score of 90 and a precision score of 78, so not bad. Those are seven pretty good shots with the exception of that one that was kind of thin. So. Now I can look at it here and look at what the insights are. So it'll tell me what my shot shape is. It'll also tell me here, so you can see my shot shape is high and my shot curve is usually a little left. So a little bit of a draw. It'll also show you here what your carry distance, the white is what was my average carry distance of those seven shots. The blue is what the optimal would be, meaning like, if I was really consistent and same for the total, the white is what it, the average was and the blue is what the optimal would be. So not bad for seven shots. I'm pretty happy with those seven altogether. It'll also show you kind of where your miss is. So you can see like my miss is kind of even. So those shots were fairly precise. So it'll be a little different if you have a few that are, you know, if you have a couple that were right or left and then but usually short right so my miss is usually a little bit short you can also now look at what to improve on your um, on your swing so this says if I adjust the face angle if I make my face angle more consistent so it's really asking me to be a little bit more consistent like so that it's the same every time through. So if you look at here, it's kind of interesting. If I come here to the shot list here and I change it to face angle. Oh, come on. I'm gonna change it here to face angle. So you'll see my face angle varies quite a bit, right? This last one was open six degrees, but there's some significant variation in my face angle. And most of us have that problem, right? Most of us, it's hard to make the face angle as we come through impact to be the same. So uh, if we, but one of the things you can do with Tracy, which is really cool, is we can start this focus practice. So now what this is doing is it's telling me the optimal face angle given the rest of my swing. So not changing club path or attack angle or, you know, how upright or I'm holding the club or any of that. 
My optimal face angle is one and a half degrees open. So at impact, if the face is just coming a little bit open, that's it. So now what it's done is it's kind of just simplified the system to show me what that is. And now as I hit shots, it'll just manage that face angle. So what it's gonna do is just tell me, am I in that optimal zone, which is 1.5 degrees open, plus or minus 1.4 degrees. So it could be as much as 2.9 degrees open, or it could be as much as, or you know, or close to zero or, or square to the ball. But if it's closed, then I'm in trouble because then I'm gonna end up with more left, more right to left movement. So now what I can do is just kind of hit shots to get the feel for what that is. It felt a little open. Oh, it actually wasn't, it was closed. All right, so see that's a little too closed. There we go, that one's in the zone. 2.3 degrees open, so it's one out of two. There we go, 0.9, that's in there. That's felt open, but we'll find out here. Yep, see, 4.7 open. So that's not in the zone. That one's in, 1.8. So the idea is that as you, as you hit shots, it gives you an idea of like, are you in? So in or out of the zone. So you can hit a number of shots and kind of develop that muscle memory for that face angle. Now it'll be different for every club. Like, let me give you a little pro tip. So a little pro tip is, so the system, TrackMan kind of simplifies the system and they want you to get distracted. Like, am I hitting it further or not as far or any of that? However, if you're really crazy and you wanna see all that stuff, you just have to come in here, down here on the bottom and you have to turn on the tray and see it's only measuring one data point, but I can put in other data points. So if I wanna put in club speed, and I wanna put in carry distance and total distance and you know how far left or right. If I wanna put those back in, uh, I can add those back into the tray. And so now when I hit shots, I get the feedback I'm used to. So that's a little pro tip if you want just, you know, a little bit of, if you just need a little bit of feedback, that one's open. That one should be good, I think. There we go. So you can see that, and then it marks each one that's good with the blue marker, with the blue mark here, or the bad, or the ones that are out, not bad, just missed, or don't have the blue.